Hello and welcome to the second of the custom HTML Demotics interface series. This time we're going to take a quick look at what makes a good user interface and then we're going to continue the Demotics series and add in a polling updating icon for devices so that um, we've furthered the HTML so that we don't just have a discrete on and off button like we had last time. We'll actually have an icon that updates depending on the status that is reported back from Demotics. So what makes a good user interface? Well, the first thing is um, the first word, which is user. So it really depends on who is using the system. Um, as to the complexity or the simplicity of the user interface that is required. Um, this is getting better, but it's still not perfect. Um, if you look at, if you, if you Google, for example, user interface for home automation, you still get a few um, pieces of artwork, if dare I say, that looks sort of as if it came straight from a 1990s web page. Um, things don't seem to have moved on as quickly as I would have liked. And that is one of the reasons why I wanted to develop um, my own user interface in order to keep it up to date and to make it look in line with similar user interfaces from other intuitive products, um, for example, from Google and Apple that look beautiful and work just as you would expect them to. Um, there are some systems which are starting to have great user interfaces for home automation and of course this may not be as essential anymore as we have products such as the Amazon Echo and the Google Home which are coming um, online and which are voice controlled so you may not need to use an interface as often as you may have done in the past but still I wanted something that was in keeping and that looked good as well. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to do your own research, then please do have a Google of uh, user interfaces. But as I've said in my blog, do not be disappointed at what you find because all it will do is show you what you perhaps don't want in your user interface or perhaps you can pick up things that you do want. And hopefully by the end of this series anyway, you will have all the tools you need in order to pr produce your own user interface that is specific to your own property and your own family. So uh, there is a companion article on my blog. I'll put a link directly in the comments below. So have a read of that if you want to um, get in more in-depth information on how to create or what the, the best way of I've found of uh, finding out how, how to produce a user interface and, and all the process that's involved in it. So I would encourage you to have a look at that if you're at least if you're in the least interested in that. But for now, let's have a look at the Demotics switch and how we're going to get that to update depending on the status of the device. If you use the first HTML snippet in this series, then you should have something that looks like this. So you can control um, lights and devices at the moment. But what I mentioned last time was that the devices specifically um, don't uh, update depending on the status of the device so you can't get an idea of whether for example here the dehumidifier is on or off there's only a button that's that says on and a button that says off and this may be um, a bit confusing for people not who, who who use the system and want to know or have feedback on whether a device has been switched on or off and this is also useful if you're using multiple controllers so you want uh, this to update depending on um, whether Demotics has switched the device on or off. Independent of the controller, you want this to update uh, to show the status of the device. So that's what we're going to look at today. So in order to update the user interface to ensure that it's synced up with Demotics, we need it to be polling the Demotics system uh, once every, every prep, for example, every second. So to do this, we use the window.setInterval um, function. And within this setInterval function, if um, the end number is 1,000, for example, this will, um, whatever, it, whatever functions are described within this particular function, will run every second. So we'll come back to that in just a second, but just to let you know that we will need to put this into the, um, into the code. This bit is the most important part. This is a snippet um, which updates a picture which you set in, uh, in the user interface and updates it according to whether the um, device is on or off according to Demotics. Because we use this very often, 
we want to set it up as a function which we can call multiple times and that's why I've called it update device and in here we've got some variables the first one being the IDX the number which we, we looked at last time um, so that is the IDX of the device that we want to uh, that we want to update the picture for location now that is the name of the um, the actual picture so we'll, we'll give the picture um, a unique identifier and that's where this will be put in here and we also want to tell it where the on image and where the off images are and that means that we'll probably create two images very similar to each other but we'll make sure that one of them looks like the device is on and one of them looks like the device is off but you can use whatever images you want just bear in mind that they should be roughly the same size and they should look they should look pretty much the same um, one idea is maybe to get some um, pictures of the device that you want to control maybe make one grayed out and one color that might that might make it, it look as if the device is on or off um, or you might want to use something a bit more basic but as long as you've got two pictures one for on and one for off and what happens down here is that the um, the there here is where Demotics is polled. So this is a um, this is actually a, a URL that's sent to to the Demotics URL, and it just asks the status of that particular device. When Demotics is asked about the status of a device, it returns a JSON string, which is a string of um, string of a, a result string which shows uh, the properties of that device it shows all sorts of things including if there is battery strength when it was last used loads of useful data but all really we want at the moment is we want whether or not it's um, on or off and that is actually within the JSON it's actually called status and because we've asked for the specific IDX of this particular um, this particular switch, we know it's going to be the first one that's re returned by Demotics. That's why we can hardwire in that it's the, going to be the first result. In other words, in this array, it's going to be result zero, which is the first result. So then all we need to do is check the status. And if it's on, we change that um, picture to the on image, which we've specified up here. Um, and then likewise if it's off we change the image to off the off image I've also included open and close there because they are they are two frequent ones that were reported by Demotics if you put in that the switch is indeed a door sensor then that's something that you might be interested in um, so I've put that in too now this is the HTML to put in the icon for the device so this is literally this is it so this is telling the uh, telling us that when it's clicked, it um, is going to toggle um, device number thirty six, which is the device that we've um, that which is the dehumidifier number actually for, for me. Uh, you can find that again in Demotics. I've specified and, and told you how to do that in the first of these of this series. We also have here an ID dehumidifier. Now that goes straight back to the location that we specified in the um, in the uh, the first snippet of HTML that I went through, and then we've got the source here. And I first of all initialize it with um, the with the off uh, switch, uh, the off picture. So when the page first loads, all the devices come up as off, and then within the first second, they are then all updated in one go. Um, and the ones that are on then then switch on. You could do it the other way if you wanted to, but I find it easy to do to do it that way. So then, all we've got then is, as I said before, we've got the we've got the interval set here, so that updating the device is an automatic function, and the um, the actual browser takes care of that and runs that every every second. We could slow that down if you wanted to, and say update every five seconds, etc. I've noticed that Demotics doesn't immediately up update the switches, and that is something which um, isn't too much of a problem for for me. But uh, I do like it to be reasonably more responsive when I'm doing my own user interface, and therefore I'm happy for it to update every second. So that's why I've specified every second there. Um, and we've got the uh, toggle. We'd already done this one, so this just literally toggles the switch. So when we've pressed the uh, the actual image button, then that's what happens. It's, it is toggled, and then um, within the next second we then go through this update device process which is what this is so it's it's polling demotics every second 
which means that wherever you've switched the device on or off, then it will update um, on onto this onto this HTML uh, wherever this happens to be. So when you've updated your HTML to match the uh, the HTML that I will have put in my blog um, link, obviously in the comments, then you end up with something like this. Um, I've just used um, an icon which I downloaded from Flat Icon. Um, and I'll put uh, where where I got that from uh, in the description. The best thing about Flat Icon is that you can actually download um, the same icon in multiple colors, so you can choose which colors that you want to use. So I've got a gray one here, which is off at the moment. Now I'm just going to press the button here on my um, mobile because I've got the same page, which is which has been pulled from exactly the same place from the Dubmotics www folder and I'm going to press the dehumidifier on now and you'll notice now that the dehumidifier um, icon has actually come on um, it's gone off again now because uh, I've got an extra bit of programming in the Dubmotics which actually controls dehumidifier so if it's accidentally switched on and it's not too humid in here then it will actually switch itself off but you have you will notice now that that is part of the polling procedure. I didn't press anything. Demotic switched the dehumidifier off and the uh, the icon went off. So that's how it works. Next time we're going to develop the HTML and look further into how we can implement several additional features that aren't native to Demotics into the user interface so that hopefully it will be more useful to you. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you don't mind, that'd be great. And please consider subscribing for more. You can check out uh, the HTML that I've put on my blog, fabulousshomeautomation.wordpress.com. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.